Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Today I'm going to show you a game that you can use with very early uh, elementary or maybe even kindergarten students in your class. I call it 7-Up because that's what my teacher called it when I was a young boy playing a classroom game. Anyway, 7-Up is played like this. You need to first maybe teach your students the value of actually playing correctly and not cheating. If you haven't had that conversation, with your students about how they play games, this is a perfect opportunity. Try to play well and don't cheat or I won't let you play the game. Cheating in this game happens because they are inclined to peak. They need to, I'll say good night, and the students need to go to sleep, they, which means they need to close their eyes. So don't peek over your elbow and don't peek through your fingers. I want you to really play or we will stop the game. When you are sitting down and teacher says good night, you need to do two things. Number one is put your thumb, maybe on the table, put your thumb up and close your eyes. So I'm going to choose some students to come here. I think when I played as a little boy, we would choose seven, which is why the name was Seven Up. But I don't have that many students in my class. You need to take fewer than half of the students of your class to come here to be the players. So maybe if my class, there are 10 people, I will choose three of them to come stand here. And the rest of the students, I'll say good night. They'll put their thumb up and close their eyes. And the players, one, two, three, and me, we will go and we will tap the thumb of one person only. And when somebody taps your thumb, these students, they need to put their thumb down so that two people don't choose the same person. So I'll say, okay, go pick a person. We'll walk around the classroom quickly and I'll count down 10, 9, 8. So they, they're not deciding for too long. So three, two, maybe I touch the thumb of Zoe here. And I come and I stand here and I'll quickly, quickly come back. Okay. Okay, and I'll say good morning. And these students will open their eyes and ha ha ha. Okay, let's go through one at a time who who has your thumb is down. So one, two, three, four, four students. Somebody here touched your thumb, stand up. Those one, two, three, four students will stand up and I'll start with the whoever. Okay, Zoe, who do you think, one, two, three, or four, touched your thumb? And maybe she guesses that it was Ben. Well, oh no, I'm sorry, that's not Ben, was that you? Did you touch Zoe's thumb? No, it wasn't. I'm sorry, Zoe, sit down, please. So Zoe does not get to change out. That was her chance to change out. If she guessed me, she would be right, and I would change with her. But she didn't. She guessed Ben. So I will ask Zoe to do some English task. Maybe just answer a question, and we'll move to the next student. Okay? Uh, Felix, who do you think it was? I think it was Ben. Yes, it was. Okay, so in this case, Ben and Felix, they change, and I'll ask Ben the English task, the, the QA for the day or something. And then Felix will be a player in our next round. And then we'll go through all four of the students and we'll play again. So whoever's sitting down now, we're going to have these four people choose one of you. Now, I told you that I also play. If Zoe had chosen me, I do switch with her. And that's why I do the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 while I'm playing to already kind of uh, make sure everybody knows that when I get down to zero, you need to be finished. Because remember, I will be playing as a student and I will be closing my eyes. I, I don't know what's going on. Somebody usually chooses the teacher if you're playing, but that might not be true. So you need to conduct it in a way where you have still, you still maintain control, although you are asleep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, everybody, go back to the whiteboard. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and everybody open your eyes. That's how I would do it blindly. And if we have a problem in the thing, then I'll say, okay, look, we can't play unless you play well. You have time to go choose one person and then get back to here and finish. So we play again. You might play however long it takes, I don't know, two or three or four turns. What I suggest is that you try to make sure that everyone is involved in the game. It would be very terrible if someone sat through four rounds and was never picked or was never up here. So you might make the rule of, you know, no picking the same person twice in a row or something like that. 
Anyway, that's how you play 7-Up. It's just a game that uses a simple game dynamic to choose which student needs to do the English task at a time. Also, if you're watching this video within the first hour of its publication, consider sticking around. I'm going to be hosting an Ask Me Anything on a live stream starting at 9.30 p.m. Uh, Taiwanese time. So if you have questions about your classes or your students or the material, or you have questions for me about my experience, feel free to hop on and ask away. I'm, I'm treating it more like office hours. Otherwise, have a nice day, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.